Okay, YouTube. This has been a while, but this is Robin Laden, and I am back now to give you a new video and to fix the problem with uh, Microsoft Office 2003, uh, the no product key that is needed. Uh, that video is out of date. Um, the link is no longer available, and it will not work. So I am going to show you guys a new way to get anything that you want for your computer, whether it be media, programs, or anything. What you're going to do is you're going to go to utorrent.com. You're going to download utorrent. It's uh, basically the most user-friendly uh, BitTorrent client. <clears throat> I'm just going to click Get utorrent. I've already done that. So what you're going to do, free download, click free download, click run, let it do its thing. It downloads uh, very fast, it's very simple. Once you get that, just go ahead and open it. And uh, this is what it looks like. Very user friendly, just going to click on torrents, it'll show you the available torrents, but you won't have any just starting out. So let's say you want the newest album from your favorite uh, artist or you want in this case Microsoft Office. What you're gonna do is start up your browser and just search in the top Microsoft Office uh, let's go 2010 professional plus and then you just search that um, with torrent at the end. So Microsoft Office Professional Plus Torrent and just hit enter. Uh, usually uh, torrents.eu gives you links and uh, it's not very reliable. Your, uh, the best ones that I use are the Pirate Bay or uh, Isohunt or Kickass Torrents. Uh, let me see if I can find a kick-ass torrent one for... No, they don't offer one, but... So what you're going to do is make sure that the whole title is usually in the link, and it's either from the Pirate Bay or ISO Hunt. Uh, just... I'll go to a couple to show you which one's the right one. Uh, this is Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2010 Service Pack 1, and then some bogusness at the end. I don't know what that means, but you're just not going to, you don't click this. It's just a bunch of stuff that's going to take you where you don't want to go. Just get this torrent. Uh, it should just allow, allow. Um, then you're just going to click OK, and it should start it down. Now, when you torrent download this, it's going to be an ISO file, and you're going to need something else to install Microsoft Office. You're going to need uh, Power ISO. You're going to have to make a virtual drive uh, to mount the ISO file. You're going to have to go to your browser again and get this program called Power ISO. It's free, quick download. Um, just download today or download now or whatever. Just click download. Same, same installation process. Run it. Um, once you get that, you're going to come over and uh, I don't think I have Power ISO, so I'm going to get that real quick. Once you get it, it gives you options uh, to create virtual drives, uh, as many as you want, and it shows up in Start um, Computer, and it'll show up uh, along with your other drives, so it'll be just as if it were a CD drive. Just a moment. It's going to ask you if you want the AVG security toolbar. You don't have to do that, so just click custom install. So, once it's finished, just 
close it, it's already got default settings. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. So you come over here. Once this finishes, it's going to be very uh, long of a download because it's 921 megabytes. But once you finish it, you should come over here, click Power ISO. Okay, and just uh, continue unregistered. You're only going to use it once, basically. Uh, click this. Uh, you're going to actually, you're going to need a third program. It's called uh, oh, WinRAR, and that's from CNET. So you're going to Google search WinRAR CNET download on uh, whatever uh, bit your Windows is. And just click that. It's also really small, fast download. Uh, just download now. CNET's not too creepy about their ads and stuff. When they say download, it usually means download. So, just gonna run. Should be faster than that, but. Just install. It's basically really fast, and then just hit OK. It's got default settings as well, so just click Done. Um, close that out. Just close your browser. Uh, and don't open the ISO file with uh, um, Power ISO until it's finished. When the torrent downloads all the way, you're going to double click it and extract it to your desktop so it will have a power ISO icon with the name of the torrent file and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to right click power ISO uh, or right click the torrent file and you're gonna go to the uh, power ISO uh, select set number of drives you're only gonna need one and then go to the Power ISO file, um, which is your torrent file, which you move to your desktop. You're going to right click that and click Mount to Drive and specify the drive that you just created, uh, the virtual drive. But when you first create your virtual drive, you're going to have to reset your computer, like restart it, and it will show up once you uh, boot up the second time. So wait for the torrent to download open the file, extract it to your desktop, create a virtual drive with Power ISO. Once you've done that, restart your computer, mount the ISO file that you downloaded on your desktop to Power ISO. It'll show up as if it's in a DVD drive alongside your, if you have one, uh, your standard DVD drive. Um, it will have no hardware to it, so it's just virtual. Uh, you're just going to double click that and it the installation process should go from there as if you inserted a Microsoft Office disk. And that is how you get Microsoft Office uh, 2010 Professional Plus for free. Um, if you have any trouble, please comment on the video. Uh, I can find a better torrent for you. I actually have Professional Plus 2010 on my laptop and I have everything from OneNote to Access to Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, everything. So if you have any problems, comment on the video, like, uh, subscribe. This has been Ryan Beladen. Thanks.